So today I decided to like use a big barrel uh, curling rod and curl the ends of my hair a bit and I tried to mess around with my bangs and I jacked them up so bad. I won't show them to you but basically they were like that. I look terrible. I look like Fry from Futurama. But yeah, so I got jacked up bangs. That's why I pulled my hair back. Let's proceed with my monthly favorites. So yeah, today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorites and non-favorites from the month. I don't have a lot of stuff uh, because, I mean, I did try a lot of new things, but I don't think I had that many misses. And I did try a lot of makeup from It Cosmetics because I won $200 worth of their stuff, so I had some favorites in that that I will show you. So let's just hop into it. Alright, my first favorite that I've tried this month is the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. I usually use the Urban Decay one and I'm pretty sure these are relatively similar formulas because this one does help my makeup remain mattified throughout the day about just as much as the Urban Decay D Slick one does and that one costs like $32 or $30. This one costs like $5 and usually it's on sale. Mind you, it's a lot smaller than the bottle I buy but still it's a lot more bang for your buck. And and if I'm getting a similar result with about the same product, then I'm going to go for it. So I'm going to be using this one a lot more so than the Urban Decay one. Next, before any of you ask, what I have on my lips is the Maybelline Lipstick in Elegant Lilac. I believe this was part of a limited edition line that they're bringing back, and they come in this frosted, purpley-ish packaging. And it is just the most absolute mauve lilac shade ever. And... That just really appeals to me. There's something kind of uh, ethereal and yet grungy about it that I really like. And I like the way it translates on pale skin. It makes me look sickly, but cool. And I dig that. So I just thought it would show you guys because I'm pretty sure they're bringing this back among other shades. And if not, maybe you can find it online or something because I love it. Just a heads up, on my Instagram this month, I'm actually doing 30 Days of Beauty. I might change it to 100 where I show a look for every day that passes. Sometimes I upload it the next day, uh, but I featured this recently in one of my looks. And I hope you guys like those if you're checking them out on my Instagram. Next are two things I've been enjoying from It Cosmetics. First is the Vitality Face Disc. It's like the live, love, laugh one. And all of their products have like multi-purpose ingredients in them that are really good for your skin. They're anti-aging, etc. I have used this thing so much it's gotten dirty. I've had to clean it off because I've used it so much. Uh, but this, if I use this subtly, I can actually warm up my complexion with it and it not look bad or too orange. I actually used it a bit today on my cheekbones, but I'm very subtle with it. I've also been using the blush non-stop since I received this. And I'm going to tell you, this stuff goes on really potently. So you need like a stipple brush to apply it if you're really fair skin like me. I really like it. And then I also have the highlighter on my cheeks. I really didn't think that it would work out for me because I didn't think it would be pale enough. But if I apply it sheerly, it does show up and look really nice and glimmer a bit. So I've just been enjoying this whole disc. I know this isn't a cheap product. I think it's between $30 and $40. But it's huge and you get a crap ton of product. And I really love this blush. I think this blush would go really well on just about anyone. I love it. Next is the It Cosmetics Pr Naturally Pretty Palette. This is the one that has their matte shades and then the transforming pearl that you use on top of it. I don't particularly like the transforming pearl because it doesn't seem like an ultimately shimmery shade like you can brighten up an area but I don't think it's pearly it's mostly satin and that's what I have to say about these mattes too they're actually rather satiny and they're not exactly sheer they're just more natural like in the skin looking which I think is what I like about the palette and which is why this palette is kind of a hit and miss with people um, a lot of people who are used to Urban Decay like I am they might not like this palette because the, the finish on these are completely different from what you come to expect from a matte eyeshadow. These are literally a type of eyeshadow that goes on your skin and it could kind of apply kind of a glow from within look. And that's not me necessarily saying they're not pigmented because they do show up really well when you put them on or swatch them. Uh, but it's just a very different finish from what you would come to expect from maybe Urban Decay. Um, that being said, I really have loved the shade Warm, Soulful, All Heart, and Java. I've been using them nonstop to such a degree that the little emblem on them have worn out, so they're pretty. I've also been loving a few brushes this month. Like I said, I've been using this to apply that blush because it's so potent. 
and I just like giving a good exaggerated angle on my cheekbones to accentuate them. I've also been loving this brush, it's by Furless, it's a very petite contour brush. And you can really get up under there and concentrate the product and go in at an angle. Or sometimes when it's clean I actually use the kind of pointed end to apply highlighter to the top of my cheekbone. So I've really been enjoying this little brush here and I'm just all about you know contouring and blush lately like and highlighting how it just really sets off your face and I'm excited to eventually be showing you guys more products I've been trying regarding that. I've also got this brush that came with my IT Cosmetics pack that I won and this is their dual ended Heavenly Luxe No Tug dual eyeshadow brush. It's got this one that's all up for smudging, awesome, or you can use it as a shader brush. And then this one that I ultimately always use to blend out my work. It's just a really nice brush and because it's dual ended you got multiple purposes. I know this is an expensive brush because IT Cosmetics isn't exactly cheap but they do have some high quality products I suppose that's why. Um, this is probably between $30 and $40. It is really soft and it works really well but I thought I would give you guys a heads up if you were interested in some luxury brushes. By the way, this fan brush is actually by Sonia Kashuk. It came in a kit, and they always have pretty good ones in a kit. So if you are out for an affordable option brush-wise, I would look into Sonia Kashuk, or slightly more expensive but high-quality sets go with Furless. Next are these eyeliners that I've been using for different looks on my Instagram to show you guys. And I have mixed feelings about most of these. This blue and gold by Jordana. This is their cat eye eyeliner. This blue is amazing. It like lights up on the skin. It's so cool. Um, very sci-fi-ish. And then this gold. Ooh, this gold is like really potent. You can put it in the middle of the lid and really light it up. The thing is, this blue one will stain the living crap out of your skin. I'm not even kidding. I went to work the next day after doing a very avant-garde look. Her eyeliner was all up here. And I was stained so bad people thought I'd punch myself. So, just let you know this stains it's beautiful you probably don't want to wear it in a place where you don't want it to show up the next day and then this one like I said it's really potent it's in the shade future um, I love lining over top of my black eyeliner like above it and creating like a really shimmery wing or just doing a little bit of detail work somewhere this is a really good gold eyeliner uh, it's not particularly great if you're gonna layer up a lot of it because it looks gross uh, but if you get a nice thin layer it holds up pretty well throughout the day I would say like up to around six or seven hours not anything amazing but still pretty good this is the NYX liner that I have mixed feelings about it's good for making little spots or tiny little designs but if you're doing anything around your eye or skin that like crinkles a lot this stuff wants to flake for some reason, but it is the most potent white eyeliner I've ever encountered. So I still am going to use it for like little art, artsy detail work, but this is their NYX white eyeliner and it's flaky. Here's another IT Cosmetics product. I've tried the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. I talk about the, uh, this a bit in my contest video, but basically it's a like average taupe shade and you put it on your eyes and it'll adjust to the natural hair on your eyebrows. This one does actually work for me. I'm actually wearing it on my eyebrows today. Though it's not the favorite eyebrow in, uh, product I've encountered recently that I need to find to show you guys. Uh, but this is a miniature one of it. I don't know if I will repurchase it, but I think it's just so cool that it has a spoolie on one end and it it's a shade right in the middle that adjusts to your own natural hair on your eyebrow slightly. Like, not a ton, but it totally does, at least from what I can tell. So, um, I thought I would recommend that to people who have a little bit of a difficulty matching their shade and they want it to match the eyebrow hairs. So, I, I know that a lot of these cosmetic products are a lot more expensive than many products I talk about, but I just thought that was a really cool product and I would tell you guys about it. Last but not least is this Bella Pierre pigment that I received in a BoxyCharm box. And it's in the shade Excite. And this is a beautiful, like, moonbeam sort of shade. It's got like a purpley pink pearl white to it. And I don't even know if I can show you it in such a way that, like, justifies it. That's it shimmering it right there. Um, but I wish someone would make a highlighter like this. I know this is pretty, like, sci-fi-ish looking for a highlighter but it just looks like the moon is glistening on my skin. I've been using it for a lot more of the like crazy looks I've been doing, you know, to highlight here on my cheekbone or the tip 
I didn't mean to do that. The tip of my cupid's bow, you know, here, here, inner tear duct, whatever, it just adds this like subtle moonbeam glow, which I really love. And I wish I could find another pigment that's like affordable and similar, but I'm pretty sure this pigment's between $20 and $30. So I may just have to repurchase it because I love it that much. I think this is comparable to Sugar Pills Lumi, so maybe I'll check that out as well because a lot of people seem to love it. Okay, so those are my finished favorites for this month. I don't think I had a lot of things I hated. I just had a lot of things I had mixed feelings about and then I had a lot of things that were like you know expensive but I like them but kind of expensive to repurchase I was excited to get to try all those cosmetic products and while not every single one of them was my favorite I did end up liking them quite a bit especially that vitality face disc and I'm just really intrigued by that eyebrow pencil so I hope you guys like these recommendations and if you tried any of these let me know what your thoughts are below because I think I've tried some pretty interesting ones this month and used them in pretty interesting ways and uh, as always thank you guys for watching my videos I will talk to you later bye